Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on signals and systems. In this video, we will consider yet another concept on operations on signal. Here, x of t is given. The task is to find, the task is to plot x of 2t plus 2 and x of minus t minus 1. As you can see, x of t is a continuous time signal. So, let me consider sketching x of 2t plus 2. Before I actually consider sketching this signal, let me understand uh, what are all the operations involved here. If I consider this x of 2t, there is time scaling and if I consider this plus 2, there is time shift. So which one I have to do first? That, that can be said by the precedence rule. The precedence rule says that first I have to do time shifting. So let me write the same thing. First I have to do time shift and later I have to do time scaling operations and towards the end I have to do reflection if there is any. So in this example x of 2t plus 2 there is no reflection involved there is only time scale and time shift. So as per the precedence rule I understand that I have to do time shift first and later time scale. So let me do that. Uh, let me just consider x axis and uh, y axis over here. I will write this as x of t plus 2. Do you understand that? So this signal I call it as x of t plus 2 because I have to do first time shifting. Later uh, I'll do time scaling on the shifted version of that. Is that okay? So if I consider this, if I compare this with x of a t minus b, this is the standard signal. So minus b. So consider this. So what is b equal to? b is equal to minus 2. The shift is nothing but minus 2. So I have to shift the signal to the left by 2. So what will be my limits? So just add minus 2 to the extreme limits. 0 minus 2 is nothing but minus 2. 3 minus 2 is nothing but plus 1. So that will be the limits of the new signal. Is that okay? So here I will write minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. But my limits will be from minus 2 to plus 1. So that is where the signal should exist. So let me sketch the same thing. The shape of the signal is going to remain. The only change is it is going to get shifted to the left. Yes, I'm done. So this is how a time shifted version of x of t plus 2 looks like. Is that okay? So once it is done, the next task is I need to scale it by 2. Is that okay? So let me consider the same thing. I will just get uh, x axis and uh, y axis over here. This signal, I would call this now as x of 2t plus 2. So how do I get that? x of 2t plus 2. The limits will remain same. That is minus 1 minus 2 and uh, till 1 the signal is going to exist. It is 2t plus 2. 2 in the sense I need to divide the amplitude by 2. Is that okay? The width will remain same but as the factor, the scaling factor a in this case it is uh, 2 as it is greater than 0 I need to divide this. Is that okay? So I'll consider uh, and uh, as I said the shape will remain same only thing is it gets Amplitude gets divided by 2. So let me draw it again here. Yes, I'm getting it right. Yes, this is how the final signal looks like. Uh, this will be 1 and this will be 0.5 you now. This amplitude is 0.5 and this amplitude will be 1. The shape of the signal, the width will remain same. Only thing is... Uh, the amplitude will get reduced. That will be x of 2t plus 2. So let me move further. Consider uh, sketching uh, x of minus t minus 1. So let me write that. I will write the second one. x of minus t minus 1. So what are the, all the operations involved here? If I look, there is a reflection. And if I look, there is a shift. So which one I have to do first? I will do shift first and later I will reflect it. Is that okay? So where do I shift it? Shift is positive here. 
if I compare with the original signal x of 80 minus b, b is equal to 1 now. So I need to shift the signal to the right by 1. So this will be the original signal x of t. I'll shift the signal to the right by 1. So I have to add 1 to the extreme limits. I'll add 1 to the 0 and I'll add 1 to 3. So limits will be 1 to 4. Is that okay? The same signal gets shifted to the right by 1. So let me sketch, let me consider sketching that. I'll just get x axis and uh, y axis. So this signal I call it as x of t minus 1. So this I call it as 4. This will be t. Is that okay? From 1 to 4 the signal exists. So let me consider sketching of that signal. Yes. Yes, I am there. I am almost there. This is how I am going to get. I call this as x of t minus 1. So amplitude and all those things remain same. Only thing is x of t minus 1. It gets shifted to the right by 1. So now I need to consider sketching x of minus t minus 1. So let me consider another graph with x axis and y axis. And I would call this signal as x of minus t minus 1. So let me write the limits first. Uh, 1, 2, 3, everything is there till 4. Now I need to take the reflection. What do you mean by taking reflection? I need to fold this signal along the vertical axis. Are you getting it? I need to fold this signal along the vertical axis. So whatever he is here that comes onto the left hand side. So let me write the limits. 1 to 4 are the limits. Now they become minus 1 to minus 4. Are you getting it? This I call it as minus 2. This I call it as minus 3. And uh, this I call it as minus 4. So 1 to 4 were the limits. Now they become minus 1 to minus 4. So how does that signal look like? It is the reflected version. It would look something like this. So it's as good as a mirror image. So just take one mirror and uh, keep it along the y-axis and this is what you are going to see. Yes, I'm there. I'm almost there. Yes, this is how finally x of minus t minus 1 looks like. So there was a shift initially and there is a reflection towards the end. Is that okay? So this is how uh, uh, I sketch the given signal considering uh, basic operations on signal. Thank you everyone for watching and if there are any doubts please let me know them on the comment section. I will definitely answer those uh, doubts and uh, meanwhile subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on signals and systems. Thank you everyone for watching.